for Sex and the City, New York really became kind of the fifth character after the four women. Sex and the City was groundbreaking for a number of reasons. It showed professional single women over 30 who were having a great time. They weren't sad, they weren't desperate, they wanted to find men, but they weren't, you know, overly concerned about it. They had each other, they had their friendship, they had these great full lives, and they also had sex and loved it. For me, Sex and the City was just kind of a huge force and inspiration in my life, and I know that I'm not the only one. It was kind of this roadmap to changing the conversation around women and singlehood and sex. You know, all of the writers were actually women, so they got to share their lives and share their stories with each other every morning, just the same way that Carrie and her friends would share their stories at brunch. And then by the time the writers got to work, they would have, you know, whole scripts in mind that they could start working on. 